grade four, module one, lesson four homework. Number one, on the place value chart below, label the units and represent the number 50,689. So let's start by labeling the units. We have the ones place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then millions. And if we're going to put this in our place value chart, let's start with the ones place. So here in the ones place, we have a nine. In the tens, there's a seven. The hundreds, there's a six. There's a zero in the thousands and a five in the ten thousands. Nothing in the hundred thousands or millions place. Let's write the number in word form. So we're just gonna write it how we say it. So 50,679. and then write the number in expanded form. So expanded form just means that we're gonna take each place value and write each number as just that place value. So we have a five in the 10 thousands place, which is 50,000, plus there's nothing in the thousands place. So you can either put plus zero or I'm just gonna skip it. So plus in the hundreds place, we have a six, so 600, plus in the tens place, there's a seven, or 70, plus in the ones place there is a nine. So that is expanded form. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on number one for number two with a different number, 506,709. So let's label our place value chart. And then let's write the number in the place value chart. So there's a nine in the ones, zero in the tens, seven in the hundreds, six in the thousands, zero in ten thousands, and five in the hundred thousands. And how we would say this is 506,000 709. Now, I know it's tempting to put an and in there. A lot of people like to say 500 and 6,709, but an and you'll learn later on, um, maybe later on this year, but definitely in fifth grade, and represents a decimal point. So we don't want any ands when we're writing out this number in word form. And really there shouldn't be any ands when you just speak it as well, unless you're talking about a decimal point. So from now on, no more ands unless you're talking about a decimal point. And C, write the number in expanded form. We have a five in the hundred thousand, which would be 500,000, no 10 thousands, you can either put plus zero or just forget about it. Six in the thousands. Six thousand plus seven hundred. Nothing in the tens place and a nine in the ones. There is your expanded form. Number three, complete the following chart. So we're going to write all of these in standard word and expanded form. So the word form says 5,370. Let's write that in standard form, 5,370. 5,370, and then in expanded form, we would have 5,000 plus 300 plus 70, plus we don't need to, we can leave off the ones place because it's just zero. Here we have 50,000 
plus 300 plus 70 plus 2. So I'm going to start with standard form. So we have 50 in the thou ten thousands place. So let's look for anything in the thousands place. I don't see anything like 9,000, 4,000. So there's going to be a zero in the thousands place. In the hundreds, we have 300. In the tens, there's a 70, so 7, and then a 2 in the ones place. So that says 50,372. Okay, the next one, 39,701. I'm going to write 39,701. And if we expand that, we have 30,000 plus 9,000 plus 700 plus 1. 309,017. Let's write that out. 309,017. And in these, I'm just putting commas where I would normally put a comma in the number. So I 309,000, so I put a comma after 309,000, and then I wrote 17. And in expanded form, I'd have 300,000 plus nothing in the ten thousands, but we have nine thousand, plus nothing in the hundreds place, but we have a one in the tens place, which is ten plus seven. And our last one, 770,070. So 770,000, 70. And if we write that in expanded form, we have a seven in the hundred thousands place. So 700,000 plus a seven in the ten thousands place, 70,000, plus nothing in the thousands, nothing in the hundreds, and a seven in the tens place, and nothing in the ones. Number four, use pictures, numbers, and words to explain another way to say 6,500. Let's draw our place value chart. because it says use pictures, numbers, and words. So we got to do all three. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. So we have 6,500. I'm gonna draw 6,500, so I use a different color. So there's 60 and one, two, three, four, five. So like what we learned last lesson is how we can group these. And I don't, let's see. We can group these into groups of 10 and move them to the thousands place. So we're gonna have six hundreds that are then going to turn into or six groups of ten hundreds which is sixty hundreds it's going to turn into six thousands and then we have this five hundreds left so it turns into six thousand five hundred so we can 
So there's our picture. So we can say 65 hundreds. equal to 6,500 or let's write it in word form 6,500. 